Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, we've enjoyed a good stretch of sun, a little bit of rain break from the rain, but I know you're tracking those storms for tomorrow. Yeah, the storms right now are just to the north, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. Kansas. Kansas has been getting hit pretty hard with tornadoes over toward Missouri. Eventually, that line of showers and storms and that front is moving in our direction. And the, the, you know, those states to the northwest, they've been getting hit hard yeah. with yeah. those storms. We've been protected by high pressure to our south and to our east, so everything's been going around us. Right. But guess what? That high is going to be moving, which will allow all those systems to come right down the pike here. Oh, boy. So we'll start by looking at what our rain chances will be for the next several days. And all of a sudden, they go up to 50% tomorrow. I think 50, uh, 50 chances of showers and thunderstorms will start to go up in the afternoon. Our best chance, though, really will be tomorrow evening, maybe shortly around midnight, maybe a little after midnight. And then once that front moves through, I think quiet conditions now have taken rain out of the forecast for Thursday, just leaving us with mostly cloudy skies. And then we've got some slight chances here along the way. Nothing major, but enough to kind of get your attention. Don't cancel any plans right now, but we're in that uh, summer pattern where we'll see some showers and thunderstorms fire up with the heat of the day. Right now, we are looking at quiet conditions. And again, the radar picking up some isolated showers and even an isolated thunderstorm. Here we are up here in Waco behind the banner and as you work your way down toward Temple, a lot of this for the most part is not reaching the ground, but where it is reaching the ground, there are some spots that are seeing some rain, but generally speaking, that's a quick mover and that'll be out of here very, very soon. There's the dry line back off to the west, so it's going to kind of move backwards. We call that retrograding and that's going to move back to the west, set up shop for tomorrow. As this day starts to heat up tomorrow, it moves off to the east. Showers and thunderstorms will fire up right along it and I expect those to be moving in our direction by this time tomorrow night. But you can see where the rough weather is going through Oklahoma and kind of tailing up toward Kansas. Again, very, very rough weather with tornadoes and rather large hail. Back here, though, skies are partly to mostly cloudy. 81 degrees, our current temperature here in Waco. It is 81 in Mahia. 82 Temple, current temperature in Colleen, right at 80 degrees. And there's a little humidity out there even at this hour. It feels like 83 degrees right now in Gatesville, 86 in Hillsboro, and the current heat index in Giddings, as you can see there, right at 90 degrees. So this is our latest computer model. We'll start it off here at Midnight tonight, skies again mostly cloudy. We've got that south to southeast wind, so moisture creeping into the picture. A lot of clouds to start the day, and this is at 7 o'clock in the morning. A few spotty showers and thunderstorms well to our north and to our west. As we go throughout the day, those continue to go to the northwest, but look what happens in that flow and the heat of the day. We bubble up some showers and thunderstorms, and as we go throughout the evening hours, it gets a little bit more intense, I think, here by, this is midnight tomorrow night, the line of showers and thunderstorms that roll right out ahead of it, and then they kind of slide down to the south, and you can see as we go throughout the day on Thursday now, Mostly cloudy sky, still a pretty warm day with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Spotty showers, but they should be well to our south. Any thunderstorm that does develop tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening has the possibility of being severe. Large hail, damaging winds, even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. So we're going to watch that very closely starting late tomorrow afternoon. But our best chance, though, I think will be close to midnight tomorrow night. 75 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a 50% chance of showers and storms. But again, the best possible time will be in the evening and close to midnight, about 90 degrees, the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, there's that dry day on Thursday with another chance of showers and storms on Friday. 40%. The weekend not looking bad. Temperatures low, 90s for highs. Those lows will be in the 70s. Just slight chances of rain, so nothing major. Very typical here in our summer pattern. And down toward the Brazos Valley. Again, some showers and storms. Best chance, again, will be very late tomorrow into early Thursday with temperatures over the weekend close to 90 degrees. All right, well